Yo, what up guys? Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in. Okay, so last episode we needed power and we got the power going from the steam, water to steam, steam to transformers, and we got the power grow going. Um after inspiration from uh Z1 Gaming and Data. Um basically I've decided to build upwards and to get a boss going try to organize everything into a boss but like i said these guys have inspired inspired me um i will drop both their links down below definitely go check them out they are both absolutely amazing content creators here on youtube uh massive thanks to them for the inspiration and uh yeah let's let's crack on with it cheers guys hello how are you doing thank you all for tuning in to appreciate it Nozzle one hand here, back with another one. So, we'll do a recap of what I've done while I've been off in between the episodes. So, I finally got my gravel come down all the way here. So, we now have gravel coming in. So, right now, all I'm having to do is manually put in the cement. I think I have on me. No, I don't. Okay, no problem. But yeah, so we're now trying to... We've got the gravel coming down, because it doesn't need as much cement as normal. So we've got the gravel coming down, and we're now automating the cement, which is now going up. This is all for the uh, Science Pack 3. So, after watching both Z1 Gaming and Serta, I've decided to go up. Now, I know it's not very pretty right now, but so we've now got the ground floor, which we're going to be as a tester. We'll get, we're calling that the tester tester level. Um, and then built another elevator. Factory floor. So this is what we're going to basically use as the factory floor, just because I can make it a lot more structurally bigger and it's all one level so it makes it so much easier so we have some smelters this side that's gonna have one ore going through to it we have one on this side got the other ore going into it and then we've got the middle floor just to you know build everything uh we've got this is where the cement's coming up so now right now we have cement flowing which is great because like, I have a feeling we're going to need the cement for uh, other things in the future. So I thought if I store it, use what I need for now, and then we'll go from there. Right now, as you can see in the top right, we are um, researching the escalators. Um, I've got 31 science packs to put in, so I'll just go put that in. And uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so we got. The first set of ore coming up, which is the techno, that's now coming up here. Going down straight to this first smelters, being smelted and then outputted as rods. And that's going to come straight up the middle. So these two lines are going to be crisscrossing. So we're going to have the plates coming down one side, the rods going down the other, and then we'll have it feeding off into where it needs to be. And then we'll have some splitters, some ramps, and we'll just have everything feeding off this way. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the first part done. Um, let me set up the uh, Dino Ferrite, and then we'll go from there, really. Okay, so after a bit of a jiggery poke of sorting out of my uh, techno, for some reason was wasn't coming through properly, so... We sorted that all out. We also added uh, two crushes on there to refine it into the ore and not the rubble to make it, you know, a bit more cost effective. Um, what we're going to do is start breaking down the stuff down here and then start moving it up the top. And uh, I don't want to give you all the boring stuff, so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so after a wiggle around. After a little wiggle, let me 
me just uh, do this for a second. Sorry, while that lift, while the uh, lift is coming down. Right into an outtake. Go up here. I'm gonna move my Dino light uh, smelters. We're gonna move that now. Techno's coming in here. Very slowly, but it is. I may have to double the uh, the feed up. Not a problem. And then the Zio is going to be coming up here. And we'll have the smelters along this side. That's the plan anyway. But right now I need to if I can wiggle. That needs to be another ramp, isn't it? Yep. Block, thank you. Oh, I can't get that angle from there. Right, we should be able to work from that. Should be able to work from there. Pull the elevator back down. Now, this is a completely new thing. Like I said, Z1 and Sata definitely got me onto this idea. I've been watching their content religiously when I've been not recording myself and uh, learning more and more about the world of automation. I'm not gonna lie, really enjoying this so far. Definitely been a head scratcher, that's for sure. Okay, so now. Do this. Bump smelters down. Uh, do I have one with smelters? Yes, I do. Oh. There we go. Right, we want. At least two behind the output. So we go from here. Sorry. Uno momento, por favor. Get the panels right. There it is. Now, get the loaders in, one on there, 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 and one on there. All lined up, nice, nice, nice. And we get the conveyor going from there. All the way to the end. B E A beautiful. And something's not. Oh, do what problem is there? Well, that's not helpful. That's not helpful, is it? All right, bear about. Let me go fix this. Okay, after a bit of a jiggle round, we are back up here, and there we go. Zeno is now being smelted into plates. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hmm. There's some more platforms right now. 
I know we have a storage down below, but I can't be bothered to run back downstairs to get platforms. Blow it out. Okay, so they're now smelting for plates, which is fantastic. Now we need to do an output, join the bus into the middle, and we go from there. Okay, so... Now... Oh, <laughs> oh the joys of being up high. Sorry about this. You start to understand why it's so much better to work on the ground. At least you get to see the swanky elevator. Oh, and now it's a bit of music. Okay. Let me do that again without falling off. <coughs> That'd be great. So now I've put output and output and output. And output. Okay, so now, going down the center, we now have plates and we have rods. That's the start of it. Now we do need to pull off to make mechanical parts, uh, platforms, but it's a start. And uh, here we go. Okay, so I've built a bit of storage just to, for now. Right now, these are going all the way down and being stored. So, access, not an issue. Listen, when it's not being used, it's being stored. Because we know we're going to need it later on. But everything else, we can always build on this and add more storage. Um, But yeah, so now we've got the basics. Now we need to start pulling off and, you know, assembling into different parts. Um... So let's crack on with it. All right, guys, let me catch up with what we've been doing. So as you know, we've got the rods being produced, the plates. Now we need to get into the technical stuff. So we need to make the rods into copper and then into uh, the components. So we're going to do that now. So we're going to we'll split it off. So we're going to put a feeder here. No, we're not. I'm going to move that first because it needs to be closer. I mean, the door is full. Of course it is. Got plenty of steel pipe. It's not an issue. All right, break that. Not too sure why I did that, but you know, needs must. Right, there's the symbol. All right, so it needs to be. There's the panel. There's the one. Two, three. Me one away from that. That needs four in between here, so I'm gonna put this into the. This is gonna break down the the um, rods into the coil, and then we're gonna feed the coils and then the rods as well into here. To make the components. Seems simple enough, right? You'd think so. Right. I'm going to set this up, so this is going to be foils. I'm going to feed it into here. Belt on. All basic stuff, but you know, it has to be done. Done the same again. I want to too far away. This one, that was too close. This one was too far away. Okay. Just jump. Not 
inventory because I've got all this other shit. on again. Also set up the uh, mechanical parts for that at the start of the belt, but then you just take plates, that's the mechanical parts, and feeding into a collector container. This is the platforms, this is also filling into a container that takes the plates and the rods, which what I've done here is put a second feeder in, split the rods off, and put a second intake, that's doing both of them. I think so far it's coming on really well, uh, we've got lots more to go. So uh, yeah, I'll crack on with it, and I'll come back once we're ready. Okay, so now we have so the slopes, here ones, and they're now being converted to sloped tier twos. Again, using a third laner, the components, the second one for the machinery parts. Right now the plates aren't really being used, but I'm just going to leave them there for now in case there's need of something else. Um, I do know I need to make these all these plates also into uh, platforms, any rods. I might have set that one for a minute. But yeah, so far, so far, so good. So far, so good. I can actually get behind and see what they're all doing. <coughs> Which is really cool. I might set one up here and have um, first lane for that and go for a third lane. Yeah, third lane of that? Okay, I can actually. Not a problem, we can sort that out. We always cut one short and feed one into another. Or we'll find another way, we'll find it, we'll figure it out. But like I said, so far, like I said, I'm so proud of how we've come so far. We've learned so much. So, so much. I mean, we could probably split one of these off. Put an assembler here just to do the, uh, the platforms. But yeah, guys, how do you think we're getting on? I'm so, so impressed with how this is coming along. This is just the basic stuff. We've still got through the technical stuff, like the steam and then the science packs. But so far, so far, touch wood. That's me tapping my head. Touch wood. We're going so far. We're going really well. Hey, guys, editing Nozzle here. So I've just realized I'm a fucking idiot. I'm talking about second, uh, another one for platforms. I did that at the start. Ignore what I'm saying right here. Thank you for watching, appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay, guys, this is going to be a roundup, and we're going to show you what we've done so far, and we'll leave the rest until the next episode. But so far, we have plates, mechanical parts, electrical components, and rods. Coming through here, we are making a tier one escalator. Sorry, tier one conveyor, tier two conveyor. We're making the tier one slope, converting into the tier two slope. Got a couple of storages going around. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the tier two storage. These are for my concrete that's coming through. 
Uh, the tier one, yeah, tier one slopes. Again, it's all being converted into tier two now. But we need them. We need them for now, so we'll keep going. Is the tier one conveyors? Uh, what's this doing? Oh, so this is doing the platforms. Right now we have a huge stockpile, which means we can expand. I've done a little bit of expansion. But we can expand even more, which is fantastic. Because I can guarantee this is going to get very hectic very soon. So I think the next episode we'll sort out the, uh, the science packs. And also get the steel production up here as well. But guys, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the videos. I do really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.